Are you ready for some not so silent nights? Hi there, I'm Jessica York in the Dish Studio. From Monday, December 5th through Sunday the 11th, HDNet Movies is bringing you two rock and roll movies every night. Hosted by rock guitar legend Tommy Shaw from Styx. Movies like That Thing You Do. Two there, Ray. Two songlines. Go. Ready for. <laughs> Roger Waters, The Wall. Tommy, and so many more. Ever since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From Sword down to Brighton, I must have played them all. But I ain't seen nothing like him in any amusement hall. That deaf, dumb, and blind kid shot played me in Padball. HDNet Movies is channel 130 on Dish, and if you don't have it, it is super easy to add through the Dish Movie Pack. 15 movie channels, including HDNet Movies and Epics, all for one low price. To add the Dish Movie Pack, just give us a call at 1-800-333-3474. That's 1-800-333-DISH, or check it out at mydish.com slash movie pack. Dish got to sit down with rock legend Tommy Shaw to find out about his favorite rock movies and his holiday gift to fans, HDNet Movies Not So Silent Nights in December. Tommy Shaw from Styx here at the Gibson Showroom in Nashville. And I'm your host for HDNet Movies Holiday Special, Not So Silent Nights. I got my first guitar when I was 10 years old. I joined Styx in my 20s. I was in Damn Yankees in my 30s. Sold millions of records, played thousands of concerts. That's why I'm here as a kind of rock and roll guide to give you my personal take on these fantastic movies and documentaries. Here we go! I was really excited to get invited to do this just because uh, I'm such a fan of, of documentaries and things that give you some insight into the lives of artists that you love. You know, like the Elvis thing. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a big show, a real big shoe. I still remember when Elvis was on Ed Sullivan and they wouldn't photograph him below the waist. Elvis! You know I can be found Sitting home all alone And that was my first experience was like, our parents don't like this, but I do. And suddenly, music took on a whole different thing. It's like, it's a generational thing. And I remember my sister and her friends dancing around to Elvis and my brothers trying to get their hair to look like Elvis. And watching Elvis go through his phases uh, was fascinating. It was sad, but you couldn't look away from it. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building. You know, I remember where I was when I found out that Elvis died. And it didn't really occur to me until then how personal that was. Uh, it, it was devastating. And, and I wanted to go to Graceland, but I was on tour. It's true. You get to see a lot of this this week. I saw uh, a YouTube video of Janis Joplin about three days ago, and it's her just on a black and white stage, and it was live and. I just remember her band, her band was always kind of nerdy and they played their guitars too high and they had 
you know, kind of nerdy hair, and they weren't that great of musicians, but everybody knew that was the perfect band for Janice because it's not about having like the killer, you know, grooving band. It was about Janice. Well, it's like a bow and a chain. When I first started singing lead, uh, it was one of those things where I was, I was like, how do you get to, to, I feel it in here, how do I get it out of here? And I had um, an unforgettable experience one day down in Florida a good buddy of mine uh, was out in the audience, and he he was always pushing me. You know, you, you got it. You just gotta you gotta get a little more behind it. And something happened that day, and we were doing a little help from my friends by Joe Cocker. And I just remember, all of a sudden, it just came out of me like, ah! you know, and it was almost it, it was almost frightening, but it was like, it was kind of orgasmic, and it was like, I did it. I had the great fortune of spending time in Jamaica back in the 70s. Bob Marley's music was everywhere back then. Uh, it was so inspirational, and that was what most of the little bands that were playing on stage, they were playing Bob Marley. You, you couldn't escape it. And what I liked about it, it was all very positive and, and spiritual and family and kind of like a, a, a more accessible uh, form of gospel music. And I grew up on gospel music. Uh, it was always on on Sunday at our house, the gospel jubilee, you know, with the Happy Goodman family. Jubilee! You know, every, everything was, was, even if it dealt with dark subjects, in the end it was all going to be okay. And Marley's like that. <laughs> I think that's part of why his music will never die. It will always be maybe some trials and tribulations, but we're all going to be okay. The wall, the music is so dark and just so, so to put that to film, just it's almost, it's almost too much for the, for the mind, you know. Uh, he's, he is so revealed in that and he's so willing to take it to the darkest sides of the moon. And uh, for that, I'm forever grateful to Roger Waters. interesting, when I got the call uh, to come audition for Styx, I had left the band that I'd been on tour with for, for about three years nonstop. Uh, it was a great rock band, but we just never really caught on. Uh, and I'd gone back to my hometown and was playing with high school friends in a bowling alley lounge. And he said, Styx is getting ready to go on tour. They got a new album. Um, they need, they want to put somebody in place for the guy who left, and they want to do it now. So you, if you need to come up there, and I was like, man, I got a good gig right now. And he said, no, really, trust me, you need to do this. I'm like, all right. Well, so I flew up there and uh, went to Dennis DeYoung's house, and they were all gathered around there by his piano, and they just went right into, here's, we're gonna do Lady, you take the high part. And they started singing, 
and they were so loud. I, I, I'd been playing more of acoustic thing, doing you know, Eagles music, and uh, they were they were they were like megaphones. And I just okay, and I sang that high D, and I'm still singing it. Next gig, I'll be singing that high D. But it, it was just a shocker. Well, mate, um, do you want the gig then? Look in the lens, you guys, right there. Go, get in there more. I like The Who when they're a, a, were a total mystery and seeing these, these, these guys on stage and when you try and pick it apart, none of this should work. You got lead bass, you got lead drums, and you got a lead singer and Pete Townsend. Everybody's a front man and it all works so well. It's just this, it's just this id, you know, and the unleashed and uh, I always love that about them. And isn't it cool to see them in, at this point in their lives and they're still those guys? You know, the, the, the John and Keith are, are no longer there, but the spirit of the music still shines through. And, and, and uh, you know, Roger uh, and Pete still, they still bring it. So, and I think they've still got a lot of music left in them. Which is, which is really awesome. Sometimes people just, they're kind of done and they, they, go their, they go their way and they have their, their, you know, their careers to, to kind of fall back on. But the who, they, you don't ever underestimate them. What's so cool about this week is getting to experience movies in like in production, but in the documentary thing, and you get to see for yourself uh, what it's like to, not only to be out there, but to see how music and film do marry. Here we go! On December 5th through the 11th, I'll be presenting you with a unique double feature every night. It'll be a custom pairing of an insightful documentary with a rock and roll drama. By pairing up these movies, we're taking a closer look at the magic that happens when music and cinema come together. It's seven nights of movies and documentaries celebrating the legends of rock and roll, blues, reggae, and classic rock, all to get you in the holiday spirit. It all starts on Monday, December 5th at 7, 6 central, only on HDNet Movies. Happy holidays. For music fans, the, the Dish Network will be bringing you music films, music documentaries, and uh, for a solid week. And if you are a music fan and you love rock history, uh, be a good time to tune in. HDNet Movies will be rocking some not so silent nights with Tommy Shaw Monday, December 5th through Sunday the 11th. Two movies every night. From Marley to Tommy to Janice to Roger. HDNet Movies is channel 130 on Dish and it's available through the Dish Movie Pack. 15 movie channels, including HGNet Movies and Epics, for one low price. To add the Dish Movie Pack, just give us a call. Our number is 1-800-333-3474. That's 1-800-333-DISH. Or you can check it out at mydish.com slash movie pack. Our thanks to Tommy Shaw and everyone at HGNet Movies. Don't miss Not So Silent Nights with Tommy Shaw, beginning December 5th on Channel 130. In the Dish Studio, I'm Jessica York.